G'day guys, this week I wanted to compare two different types of Cobra bags. A rod based Cobra bag, this one's a DIY mate a few weeks ago, and a spring based Cobra bag. This one using the Culus Pro Spring and a blow up ball for the top. I'll put a link in the description to the DIY section on Culus.com where you can go and check out the DIY instructions and all the things you need to make them, including the videos for each one of these. In comparing them, I'm gonna look at three things. Number one, the cost and the complexity of each build. Number two, performance. How do they perform and how do they compare in their performance? And number three, advantages and disadvantages of one over another, so that you know which one is better for you to build. Now you can build both of them, but you might wanna decide in terms of cost or performance you might want to start with one of these first. <laughs> now in terms of the cost and the complexity of the build, I'd say that the spring one is a little bit more complex, a little bit more expensive. Here you've got a two section fishing rod which is relatively cheap, you can get on Amazon, I've got a link in the description where you can get it. Also on the DIY blog. You've got a ball, you've got a funnel, and then you've got a short pipe at the bottom with a flange on your board. This one, you've got a board funnel, you've got a PVC pipe, then you've got the Cures Pro Spring, you've got your galvanized pipes at the bottom, and again a flange and a board. So just a little bit more complex, but it has some of the advantages which I'll talk about in a sec. First of all, let's look at the performance of each one of these and compare it. Just the general feel of it. You can sort of sense this is a fast reflex bag where the ball is relatively small. Now, if you try and increase the ball, the speed will slow down. So you've got some limitations in terms of the size of the ball. This one here, bigger ball, but just as fast. If not even a little bit faster. Oh, it's almost hitting me in the face. Look, I probably don't have enough space here, but you get the idea. The movement in both cases. Is pretty good. Now, how does it feel to punch? This one's a little bit heavier. This one's a little bit lighter. They move about the same. In general, the movement in terms of the dynamics, this one comes, bends at sort of hip level. This one bends a little bit lower, but also probably thigh level is where you get the bend. In terms of movement, in terms of punching, Hooks, you can go, you can practice hooks with these, and they're pretty good for that sort of thing. This one, just the same, you can do the same. So the dynamics are pretty much similar, okay? But, like I said, this is a bigger ball, you're punching something a little bit heavier. Now you can't increase the weight of this one too much because simply of the rod, you would need a bigger rod. Let's have a look at the advantages and disadvantages of each. Okay, straight up, I gotta tell you there are huge advantages over the spring. The first and foremost is the ability to change the tops. So you can just pull out one top and replace it with another one that I made using a Culus Culus leather speed bag, all right, and I've just changed it just like that. And it's still got all the speed. With the rod one, well, you can't do that. You could, I suppose, have the top section come off and then make other ones, but I found it's a lot more difficult. You also can't adjust the height of this thing. Once you've cut it to size, that's it. With 
the uh, spring one, you can have a height adjustable mast at the bottom. And there's a couple of videos where I'll show you how to make one of those. So height adjustable mast can give you that. You can also adjust the height here so you can move your Cobra bag down here. That increases the speed and also and also makes this a little bit lower. If you want to work on speed, then you can lower it. Now, if you do make one of these, make sure you leave at least four to five springs active between the top and the bottom to prevent the spring from getting damaged. For me, one of the greatest advantages of the spring Cobra bag is the ability to make adjustments to various things. So I can adjust the reach of the bag by moving it up or down. I can make this longer so I can change the top section. I can have a heavier top section or I can have a lighter top section. So heavier for more momentum when I'm punching, lighter for faster speed. Increase the reach so it reaches further or reduce the reach and have a faster bag. And I can also adjust the height like I mentioned. Can't do that with the fishing rod Cobra bag. Once you've got the fishing rod and you've cut it to size, that's pretty much it. I will be releasing components for the Culus Pro Spring Cobra bag so you can switch and swap. You can't really do it with the fishing rod. I will be releasing a special fiberglass rod designed for the purpose of this. It will have height adjustment and that's later down the track. First I'll be releasing the kit for the Kills Pro Spring Cobra Bag, the complete kit. Now, just to give you guys an update, for those of you who are waiting for the parts for the Kills Pro Spring Cobra Bag, they are coming, the factory molds have been made, and the first samples from those molds from the factories are coming. So hang on for that, but for now guys, just make yourself both of these, check out my videos, hope you make both of them, and I'll see you guys in the next video.